If you're presenting a speech, a presentation, a pitch within the healthcare or pharmaceutical sector, you need to make sure it's good. In this day and age, it's no longer acceptable to just rock up to a presentation, throw some slides up on a screen and just start talking. It's certainly not acceptable if those slides are forming your script. In this day and age, people's ideas of what makes a great presentation have changed. And it's partly due to TED Talks or TEDx Talks. And you may well have watched them online. They have changed people's expectations of what a presentation will be. So there are some top tips if you are giving a healthcare presentation. Number one, know your audience. Understand who you're talking to and what their current level of knowledge is. For example, if you're talking to a patient group, you're going to use a very different set of language to if you're talking to a group of doctors or surgeons or highly qualified medics. You've got to understand what's in it for them. What do they want out of your speech? You'll certainly walk onto the stage thinking, I know what I need to deliver in this presentation, but what does your audience want to get out of it? What information, knowledge, skills, decision do they want to be able to take away at the end of what you've just said? The second thing you've really got to know is you've got to know how you're going to structure your presentation. Now, there is, of course, the old adage about every presentation needs a beginning, a middle and an end. And that might sound simplistic, but in fact, it's absolutely true. Your presentation needs to have a clear structure. There needs to be something that opens it, that sets out your stall, as it were, that also helps to boost your credibility. Why should we listen to you on this particular topic? Your middle section also needs to have some structure. And I would venture to suggest that you should maybe put it around three different parts, three different sections. More sections than that, and it starts to get unwieldy and your audience can't always follow along where they are. The closing section needs to round off what you're saying. It needs to have a summary or a recap. It needs to have a strong call to action. What do you want people to do as a result of what you've just told them? And it needs them to uh, leave with a good final impression. So what are you going to do to close it off? It might be that you use a video. It might be that you tell a story, maybe a patient story, maybe a particular case study to help you to close off that presentation. My third tip is you've got to make it engaging. The days of just standing and talking at an audience are thankfully over. Your presentation needs to keep your audience's attention. So use interaction, use voting, use polling. Uh, ask your audience to contribute any presentation should be a two-way process. Even It should really be a conversation, even if it's you doing most of the talking. So you need to be able to keep your audience engaged. And we'll explore that further in another video. But if you're giving a healthcare presentation, you've got to know your audience, you've got to have some structure, and you've got to make it a conversation.